So, this is a quick one. And recently, SvelteKit 1.24 dropped and it added this nice on navigate lifecycle function. And it's really cool because that allows us to do page transitions. So, we're going to go to our layout file, so the root one, so the lowest one, and we can import in here on navigate and then um, just paste this function. Uh, I missed this part and um, it just checks if the document has a start view transition function to it. If it doesn't have one, it returns. If it has, it's called this browser function that starts transitioning the page. And this is a browser feature. Um, so that's why this is only available currently in Chrome, not in Firefox or Safari. And this basically tells the browser I'm switching my view and please transition it smoothly. And by default, if you go to our app, we see already that it's like fading to the new page. I can quickly disable it again so you can see the difference. Return here early and go back. And if I, it's just blank without any transition. So um, it looks very smooth and cool and I like that. We basically have to do nothing besides of this to get this result. We can even customize this uh, even more. Shout out to uh, the Svelte blog post. I will link it from Joff. And he has some tutorial on how we can actually um, style it with keyframes and CSS to make this even more customizable. Here's, here's an example in this video, but uh, yeah, it looks like the page is coming from the left or yeah, it's really fast. Can check out this blog post to see it in action. But one thing that I like even more and I learned it from Jake's blog post, it's a little bit older when the Chrome team um, revealed this feature took some time to be uh, to be shipped in stable mode and um, it's transitioning um, like text or some icons or something and uh, best part is it's that simple so you can see here I have added this small indicator we are on the home page this bullet symbol here now if I change it it will be on the other page we can even transition that and it's really simple actually so um, I have this CSS here, which basically does um, show the bullet icon. And by just saying, okay, the current one has the view transition attribute, view transition name. So we can give any amount of elements this attribute, but it has, uh, the, it will transition to the ones with the same name. And what will happen if I change the pages that, um, so I'm on the home page, so it's here now because this is active. If I click here, we're not on this page anymore. So this will lose the active state and it will go to here. And the browser will see, okay, it's moved from here to there and it will just smoothly transition it over to there. As you can see. It's a really uh, quirky example in my case. I don't know if I like it, but I think it's really amazing how easy I achieved that result. It's even more cool if I click on this link and you can see the text scaling up here to the title. And I think that's like really cool and dynamic looking. And um, also fairly easy and we have a problem here like we don't know in advance where I will click and I can't give it to any of these I can should only give it to one I actually click on and um, how do I do that it's um, I will 
I did a function in a view transition and when I click on this link, so I added an on click handler, I call this function and at the same moment I click, I give it the style of the view transition name. So it happens like at the same time, like the navigation happens. And of course on the target page on the H1 here, I have also a class and the class has also the same view transition name. So again, the browser is doing all the work. I didn't specify anything and looks pretty cool for me. Think like um, one of the gaps between, between uh, mobile web apps and native applications was always like how smooth and cool animations look and how easy it was to actually do them. And I think this is a great step in the direction where we get smoother, nicer looking web experiences. Also shout out to um, th this blog post again that did a really cool um, and I think also very advanced thing with this video thing. So we can see here the thumbnail is scaling up with this section and from the side slides in the sidebar and um, that's cool when he clicks. Uh, yeah, when he clicks here, it's going to move over. And uh, if he clicks back, it scales down. That's like the end game of this feature. You can customize basically all the animations. Um, so I just used mostly the standard things, but as I showed you, you can use your own keyframes and um, they also have some of the code in here. So thanks for tuning in. I think it's really easy to add this to your app to make it look nicer. Let me know in the comments if you will use it and thanks for tuning in.